Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video, I'm going to test out a product um, that quite a few people have asked me about how to make it work. Uh, it's a Bluetooth receiver, the LNBT02. This is version 4. Uh, it's pretty versatile Bluetooth receiver and it's kind of ideal if you have a car with a audio system that does not support Bluetooth. Uh, so you could Bluetooth enable a legacy audio system pretty easily with this. Um, the operating voltage for it is anything from plus 7 to 30 volts. Um, you do actually have a, an output from it as well which is 3.6 to 5 volts so I'm assuming it's got a built-in voltage regulator. Uh, you also have uh, auxiliary input so if you had another source um, to play so you could you could plug that in and then you have the left and right out uh, you have a microphone input option so to use it as a hands-free bluetooth uh, uh, for phone phone calls etc and finally you have this connector here I had a set, a set of connector here for um, some external buttons uh, and i'll show you that in a minute so let's just start with uh, powering this up uh, i've got a speaker and an amplifier um, can't remember the version of this amplifier some pretty small uh, but yet powerful amplifier um, so I've got the power connectors joined up so I'm gonna connect my power bench power supply to it so like so and then I'm going to connect this up to the power input on the Bluetooth board and as you can see um, that's powered up and you can see that the system is initialized the blue light blinking which is not quite obvious let me just oh. uh, let me just try and see if I can show that blue light um, you can see that right next to the power light there's a light blinking it's blue in color so indicating that the Bluetooth receiver side of things is ready. I'm going to take the output. A bit of buzzing because I'm touching the naked wire. There you go. So I've got that. And now let's see if I can actually pair it with my phone. Let me unlock my phone. There we are. And I'm going to go into the Bluetooth settings and see if I can... Ah available dry device Lanny uh, I'm guessing that's something short for the LNPT so if I pair once it's pairs it should go blue and yeah it's a solid blue you can see that light maybe maybe not I don't know let's see uh, my overhead lighting is basically blurring everything here so I can see the blue light it's solid blue now which means this has paired so let's go to YouTube and let's just play something like this. And okay, so let's just try the other thing that I said is a controller board. Let's just plug this in and see what this does. So, I have this plugged in. In 2009, let me go back to that. And from this keypad, I think this is pause. So, the middle one is pause or resume. There you go. And then this I assume is next and this I assume is previous yeah so you can see on my phone uh, I can actually control I can control the playlist playlist using just the pause previous Previous again, next, and play. First time, please welcome Elaine Page and Susan Boyle. 
close it again so that's pretty much it uh, it's a straightforward device uh, yeah so i could plug in the microphone and just show you uh, where it goes so that's a tiny microphone there for hands-free and effectively that's going to go in there get it right I've been going the wrong way around that's it there we go so yeah so I have no way of I don't know how I would test the microphone other than making a call which I don't want to make right now um, but yeah pretty much that's it it's pretty straightforward um, as long as you have the right power supply which is a good range 7 to 30 volts um, you optionally could use the button board and the button board actually the way it is it, it can be breaking broken up so actually let me just unplug this and quickly talk a bit about this and kind of have a look at this so you look at the back side all the wires are going into the center PCB so it's actually three PCBs and if you break them up then you would need to wire them up uh, so these two wires you'd have to join them manually um, but that's it really once you do that then you could you could place these buttons anywhere and they have the mounting holes there to be screwed into something but generally speaking I think you'd just use the board itself hide it away somewhere if you're using it in a car and it should work pretty pretty nicely uh, Bluetooth enabling a legacy um, audio system that's all. That's all. Thank you very much. Um, hope to see you soon.